you've probably heard of musical roads where you can hear a melody as you drive along them. It's no surprise to anyone anymore. The Israeli company Electron Wireless has come up with something unconventional and very useful, roads with wireless charging. Driving on such a road will charge your car. Sounds awesome. In this video, you'll learn more about this technology and when it will be already possible to drive your electric car on such roads. Before we get started, click the likes. It's the one second for you, but it's for us. A joy all day long and motivation to keep making content for you. Fasten your seatbelts, here we go. In Israel and Sweden, roads with wireless charging for electric cars are being built. The Israeli company Electron Wireless is doing it. The first works were carried out in Tel Aviv and on the island of Gotland in Sweden. It is known that electric car owners need to put their cars charging at night just like they do with their smartphones. After charging the car, it'll be able to drive about 300 to 500 kilometers. If necessary, it is possible to put the services of charging stations on the road. However, a significant inconvenience is the need to wait quite a long time. That is why the opportunity to charge the car in the background seems so attractive, especially if we're talking about unmanned vehicles. Such charging on the road will allow the use of much smaller traction batteries in electric buses or cars. In such cases, public transport will be able to significantly increase working hours. It makes sense the electric bus can be used all day if it doesn't need to spend time on charging. Although in theory, the company plans to install wireless charging zones in bus depots or at the end of stations, where energy can be replenished during breaks between trips to the line. In Tel Aviv, such a road takes 600 meters, in Sweden, 1.6 kilometers. Of course, this is only the beginning. Soon, a similar road will appear in Karlsruhe, Germany. Sweden says it's ready to implement this technology on thousands of kilometers of roads. To provide electricity for electric cars, copper coils were installed under the road surface. To do this, it was necessary to remove the asphalt and prepare a special launch in which the charging equipment was placed. After that, the hole was covered with fresh asphalt. Special inverters through which energy is supplied to the coils were placed on the sides of the road. A trained brigade is able to equip one kilometer of road with such charging in just one night. To be able to use this energy, we need special devices for electric cars. Right now, no automaker has yet introduced them in the production of production cars. However, these devices are quite simple and they can be attached to models not originally designed for such systems. To test the performance of the system, a 40-ton truck was put on the road, which was equipped with five receivers, 20 kilowatts each. This truck drove several times along a 200-meter section. Its speed was up to 60 kilometers an hour. It was also confirmed by tests that snow and ice have no effect on charging capabilities. The company claims that the system has proven its reliability and stability. Today, New Zealand scientists are working on this idea. For example, the New Zealand energy company PowerCo was interested in the local startup MROD, which it started to invest in. The idea of the project is to transmit energy from the transmitter to the receiver within line-of-sight distance. It can even be tens of kilometers. Interestingly, the main thing is not even the transmission over huge distances. The main idea is to provide energy to areas where accidents have occurred or repair work is underway, or in areas where it's forbidden, impossible, or just very difficult to provide electricity. The company has developed a model receiver and transmitting station which will first be tested in the laboratory and then in the field. At first, up to 2 kilowatts will be transmitted. This is just the beginning. Then the volumes will gradually increase. The company said that the efficiency of the receiver antenna is 100% and the efficiency of the transmitting system is 70%. For comparison, the efficiency of wire lines is 85%. However, safety, maintenance, and repair should also be taken into consideration. Therefore, in the future, it may be completely replaced by microwave radiation. The system will be equipped with special crossing lasers responsible for safety. 
they'll be able to completely cut off the power transmission if birds, helicopters, drones, or anything else gets into the channel area. It is planned to create fairly wide transmission channels so that the density of energy will not be higher than the density of energy emitted by the sun at the equator on a hot afternoon. And that's not all. Xiaomi recently introduced the My Air Charge to the public. This revolutionary technology charges devices without using wireless charging cradles or cables. It is capable of charging multiple devices over long distances, with a maximum power of 5 watts each. This technology uses a special device that looks like a box or tower. It forms a ray that sends millimeter waves to the devices, which is converted into electricity and charges the device. The box has five-phase antennas that can locate the phone in milliseconds thanks to the 144 antennas they send him millimeter waves. It is necessary that the smartphone has two antenna units, small in size, the radio beacon, through which the phone communicates with the charging station and the receiving antenna ray, which consists of 14 antennas and receives millimeter waves, which become electrical energy. Now it's possible to charge several devices at the same time. Over time, it is planned to charge other wearable devices such as fitness trackers, smartwatches, further table lamps, speakers, and other small devices. And of course, the ultimate goal is to eliminate the need for wires. Still at the end, I want to say, eh, it hasn't been a hundred years. What do you think about it? What other topics would you be interested in watching? Your comments make a huge difference in improving the channel and are incredibly motivating. We have many more exciting ideas. Subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any new videos. It's going to get even more interesting. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.